And here we are at E. E is the last step of DARE. E is for engage. So just a review of what engage actually means, the definition of engage is to participate or become involved in. So where are you spending your day engaged? Once your alarm has rung and you've it's shown you something and you do D-A-R, diffuse, <gasps> what's happening right now? Is there danger? No, it's just discomfort, thoughts, sensations, feelings. You're differentiating if it's danger or not. If it's not danger, you allow what else is there and you can even ask for more of it, run towards, right? It can be there, it can be even bigger because I'm showing with my response that there is no danger. And since there is no danger, <clears throat> now I can go and engage in life. So I used to say for years, like to then engage. And for the last year or two, I've been, I've switched it up because you're engaging somewhere. So where are you continuing to keep your focus? Are you continuing to focus here? Like, are you internally engaged? Are you checking to see, okay, is it gone yet? Is it gone yet? How do I feel? We tend to spend a lot of time here and not a whole lot of time out here when it comes to anxiety. Um, anxiety is a really inward turn thing. Instead of being engaged here, our bodies might be here, but we're in here. We're thinking about how we're thinking. We're wondering how we're feeling. We're judging it, we're picking apart. Um, so engage really means to immerse yourself in what's going on in life. It doesn't mean keep busy constantly all the time. And it doesn't mean distract, right? A lot of people get confused. What's the difference between distracting and engaging? Distracting means, oh, here's this noise over here and I don't want to hear it. La, 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 la. I'm looking over here. Shh, okay, stay busy. Wash the dishes. Go for a walk. Exercise. No, is it is gone yet? Is it gone yet? That's distracting. That's resistance. That's fight. It means I can't hear that. I can't listen to that. No, go away. I need to stay busy. That's not engaging. That is distracting. Engaging means I'm noticing what's here, giving it a nod, it's not danger, and I can continue about life. The goal with dare is not elimination. The goal is irrelevance, unimportance, okay? So you can't have a goal of unimportance and irrelevance and then check to see if something's gone because that's not unimportant. It doesn't, if it's unimportant, it doesn't matter if it's there or not. So that's the mindset you get towards. You might feel that you might not feel that way now, but by going through these steps of dare, you show yourself that I'm allowed to have these feelings. I'm allowed to have these thoughts. I don't need to get rid of them. I can continue to go about my life. I try and tell people um, to to see if they're engaging or not, and how to keep engaging in life. Um, what would you be doing differently if there was no such thing as anxiety? Right? If you can kind of think and go through your day from morning till night, throughout the week, the month, um, would you be driving on different roads? Would you be working? Would you be going for walks? Would you be more social? Whatever it is you would be doing differently, go do those things. Right? Those, those could be broken down into little goals and, and things to work towards because that's engage. Otherwise, you're spending the day engaged in your anxiety right? Rather than engaged in life. So it also helps when you're engaging, it shows that there is no danger because there's no way if you were on fire, you would continue to engage in your regular routine. Oh, okay. I'm on fire, but let me just finish up this dinner real quick. No, stop life and you put out the fire. And when the fire is gone, then we go back into life. Works great for danger. Does not work well at all for all forms of discomfort. It does not work well for thoughts, for feelings, for sensations, because what happens is we, we take the same approach, but that's exactly where we get stuck. <gasps> I feel so awful. Okay, let me just stop all these things. Let me stop life for a, middle, for a little bit and get this under control. And then when I feel better, then I can go back and do things. Then I can get back into life. Then I can go back to making plans. I'll leave the house when I feel better. That does not work. I mean, if it works for you, that's great. I had, I'd never see that working in that way. How, because you're still giving all this meaning to, I need to feel better before I do. And when it comes to anxiety, you're showing your alarm that the feeling is danger and needs to be gone. And when it's gone, ah, then I can let go and go back into life. We're looking for the ah, 
So you get to go, let go while you're still feeling uncomfortable. That's what sends the different message. That's what sends a new message between this is bad and dangerous and oh, that's just uncomfortable. I'm already feeling it, whether I like it or not, that's how I feel, but then I choose what I do. So you wanna take feelings and thoughts and sensations and still go and do, right? Your alarm may continue to show you things regularly, right? <gasps> Michelle, look at this, <gasps> look at this, right? Notice it, right? Here, see this little guy? See he cute? This is your little alarm and he has a flashlight. And we have a flashlight and a magnifying glass and anything he sees as danger, he goes, <gasps> Michelle, look! shows it to you, right? Michelle, look, 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 look. Even if he does it all day long, go ahead and look. Let me see, what are you showing me? Oh, that, oh, another thought that I don't like? Thank you, thank you, right? Your protector, your bodyguard is doing his job. You can look at it and then D-A-R, diffuse, allow, run towards, is how you're gonna respond to this. Oh, oh no, that's not danger that's allowed to be there we can even have more of that okay you step out of the loop when you decide to stop engaging and staring at this a lot of people get stuck in daring you want to dare you want to add the e diffuse allower and towards diffuse allower and towards if this is where people get stuck and they think i need to stay vigilant and here and make sure i like get all these little things before they get me Diffuse a lower and towards and engage. When you engage in life, that's how you show how unimportant this is. That's how you show it's not fire. It's thank you for showing me that because you've got one of these too. So where you shine your light is what you see the most clearly. So your alarm is showing you this. You say, I see that. Yes. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I'm actually looking over here now, right? Oh, that's not fire. That's just a weird feeling in my body. So I'm going to notice that weird feeling in my body while I keep cooking dinner. You don't have to force this guy to come this way. You don't have to make him turn off his light. It's not about elimination. It's about irrelevance. Okay. Unimportance. And the more you're engaged in life, the more you show how unimportant it is when that alarm rings at all those, at all those times when it's showing you thoughts, sensations, situations, feelings. Um, so continue to pay attention to where you're engaging. If you are spending 20 hours a day in your head, don't be surprised that you find a lot of things in your head. Cause that's all you're looking at, right? You're looking, if you're looking for something, you're going to find it. So when you notice yourself turn this way, right? You're engaged here. Now, now your light's like this. You're spending all your whole day like this. How do I feel? What's that thought? I should do something about that thought. Oh, there's that thing in my body. Oh, there's that other thing. What do I think about that thing that I find? World gets really small. Notice it. Give it a nod. Engage back here. Okay? So that is engage. That is the last step of dare. And then it just sort of loops around. It's not, I'm going back to the beginning. I'm having a setback. I have to dare every two seconds. Maybe in the beginning, because your alarm is a little haywire, right? It's showing you everything. Look, 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 right? This little guy is showing you everything. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Go ahead and look. It's not about him ringing. It's not about him yelling and screaming and showing you and sending you energy to be uncomfortable to fight. It's what you do when you get that fight energy. Is there danger to fight or is there not? If there's not, you don't do anything. Honestly, that is dare. Dare is teaching people how to do nothing. And they also tend to be people that get stuck or people that are really good at doing things. I get really good fighters, doers, go-getters, type A personalities, the researchers. Why is our favorite letter of the alphabet? Trying to figure it out, figure out why all this is happening, but it's subtle so, so I can get rid of it, so I can make sure it doesn't happen again. And because anxiety, and I get the very best fighters because anxiety lives in the fight. And I'm teaching you how to not fight because you don't need to fight things just because they're uncomfortable. You save your fight for danger. So continue to engage in, engage in life. When your alarm might show you the wrong things, you have to act as if, right? You don't need to respond as if there's danger because it's this that, that keeps the cycle going. So engaging shows that You've noticed, you've gone through those first three steps of dare, and I am continuing to go into life with 
those sensations. I'm going to bring them all with me. You are welcome to come. Not I've engaged, but it's still there. Great. No expectation attached or that's resistance too, or then you're still trying to get rid of it. Engage means, oh, well, it's fine that those things are there. They can be there all day long, but I'm not choosing to stare at them or do anything about them. They can have their place here while I go forward doing these things, period. End of sentence. And then rewind and repeat. Okay, so that is um, Michelle Cavanaugh's version of the four steps of dare. I hope you found them helpful. And, um, and that's all.